Stevie, it's all to play for Norway next week. What's your what's your thoughts after? Yeah, obviously very very tough conditions with the heat. Um, thought we played well in stages, passages. Obviously they on the counter and that they, they had a couple of chances by just going direct and um, long throw wins etc. So uh, we need to just uh, defend them sort of transitions better. But in the main, it's all we were obviously that control of the game, my dominant team. Uh, probably went away a little bit from. You know, getting crosses in the final third, getting width, and making them defend their box. But um, some good passages, but also passages we know we need to we need to be cleaner. Yeah. A couple of good chances in the first half. The keeper made a couple of double save from Johannes. And yeah, well, we numerous chances in the first half. Johannes' header, uh, Ryan McCain, uh, Dicky on the rebound, Pat had a header. You know, so we had we had a lot of chances first half. Keeper made two great saves from Ryan's shot, and then the um, the rebound off Dicky. So, um, and I thought we were going to get one that we were pushing on with the Dublin team towards the end. They were fatiguing a little bit, but all in all, uh, it's a draw away from home. Um, and we'll take that back into Oriel now next week. But we know that they've shown already that they're a threat in the counter. But, you know, we know that we've shown that we, we can pose them a lot of problems too. A lot of these European games in the early stages, you know a lot about them now. You've, you've faced them. So there's sort of yeah, exactly. Look, ultimately, you don't know much about them at all. You're not a new coach. So many new players, only one, one game of footage to go off, so we knew very, very little. We didn't know whether that was going to be the team that, that played against Preston last week that would play this evening or not. So, yeah, as you said, we have a much better feel for them after this evening and no worse off result-wise. And we look forward to the um, we look forward to the game now Thursday. The recovery is going to be a ball, isn't it, over the next Yeah, it starts days. now, second leg starts now, as I said to them in there, get the fluids back on board. We've lost a lot, a lot of weight. Um, you know, in that game, from a sweat point of view, it was so hot, so recovery starts now, getting ready for the, the second leg next Thursday. You have to pay credit to the travelling support, they, they, they made a presence felt. Brilliant, they did, yeah, good time, a good time in the evening for them, as you said before the game, that they would have been well hydrated, so um, great, great, massive uh, amount of support, you know, not easy. Uh, we all know that times can be difficult financially, but to have that sort of passion and that... Um, you know that support that of I don't know 300 odd come to Gibraltar basically within the space of a couple of weeks drop of had to book flights probably holding off their summer holidays to see who Dundalk get to, that that is their holiday so you know we're always so grateful for them we're so thankful and you know they never stop singing from the first minute to the 97th or whatever whatever it was. As you were saying the in the build up to it we didn't have it last year. Or European football back in Orient next week should be. Should be. Everybody up. Yeah, definitely it should be. Uh, you know, it should be a really good atmosphere. We missed having it last year, obviously the club. So looking forward to getting getting them at Orient next Thursday uh, and really going for the game. Mm -hmm.